What's up guys, it's Punchy, and I was right, the Fate Trimmer Oath is real. I'm not gonna lie, I dropped that video a while ago as like a joke, but hey, maybe they got inspired and they made it. Anyway, this oath is actually crazy, and let me show you what's up. This will be a full showcase where I show all of these talents, mantras, and how to get this stuff. This Fate Trimmer Oath has two mantras and two talents, and let's get right into these right now. So one of these might be a pseudo mantra, I guess the other one is also kind of a pseudo mantra, but yeah, we have extra stuff, and this is really cool. Also, this oath's visual are defined by the scissors on my character's hip, and it's small, but it's pretty sweet. Let's talk about the oath talents because they affect your mantras as well, and it's a good tool for trolling. So right off the bat, we have two talents or tools in our inventory that can be used on ourselves and whoever we want to target. With the talent Barber's skill set, you can enter any type of hair ID to modify your own or other's hair. As you can see, I have the option to pick my hair for myself or what type of hair I want to give other people, and that is super good for trolling. So let's try it out right now, and boom, it looks great. I can give myself a new look. Now, if I enter in other hair IDs, this will modify other people's hair with mantras, and I'll get into this later. Let's take a look at the next talent for Fade Trimmer, which is Hair Product, and the Hair Product talent has three separate uses, and I consider this a pseudo mantra, basically what I talked about earlier. By right-clicking with Hair Product out, you can pick from three different options, Charming Product, Flaming Product, and Revitalizing Product. Now, whenever you want to M1 with Hair Products, you spray out some mist and apply the status, which can either hurt or help out whoever you target. The Flaming Hair Product straight up lights people on fire, and it should synergize with other flame charm talents, so that's fun. The charming hair product is also pretty funny because it charms enemies and reduces their damage, and all of your charisma talents will work with this. Now, the revitalizing mantra emits the same green spray and heals targets, and is an interesting type of pseudo mantra that can be used for both combat and support, and I think this heals about 10%. So that's all for the talents, now let's take a look at the mantras. Close shave is our first mantra on the list, and it does sizable damage while slashing forward, and I believe this can change the hair of your target to whatever you selected with Barbara's skill set, and this is good for trolling. As you can see, I'm setting the hair options with Barbara's skill set and changing this right now, and it's very interesting because it might be permanent, they have to go all the way back to the barber and change this, and it might just ruin players' drip. The next mantra is Precision Cuts, which does three cutting slices while doing some good damage, and it's solid, and it also switches their hair as well. There's no really avoiding the Fade Trimmers from changing your hair, so you have to deal with this. The first thing I gotta say for Fade Trimmer is Obtainment, and personally, I talked to a lot of different barbers around the map and spam changed my hair to the same thing, and after that, I clicked the bottom option down below, which says, how do you do this? And I get the oath. I also believe this oath is based off power level, not stats, but here's what my character's stats look like. And that's all for right now, and happy fade trimming. I want to see some trolling builds in the future, so make sure to like and subscribe, and have a good one. It's punching time.